I'm Jesse Steele. I currently live in Asia. I went to school in Chicago and spent a lot of time in the black inner city. I was a white boy who grew up in the sticks. And right now, I spend my life in podcasting, web contenting, cloud control, and brand design. And I have a perspective that I want to give you about what's happening between the police and the black cultures in America. I'm telling you this because I haven't seen it anywhere in the media. And I've spent my whole life trying to understand cultures different from my own. I am not an expert. Except there is one thing that I know, and that is that I don't know everything. I'm just sharing with you what I see. And I hope that you can come up with a better idea than I can. Because we need ideas right now. And so it's with humility that I share this with you. I am not an expert. I'm just a traveler. From the best I can understand, having police officers who are friends and having black people who are friends for a long time, I don't even think of as police officers or black people. I think of people as friends or people or maybe just stupid people. I really don't run around and judge people by the color of their skin. But I've tried to make sense of the shooting videos that I've seen. I see a well-dressed black man get shot in the back by a very calm white police officer. And I ask myself, what was going on? And I watch the video again and again. You know the video where the black man jumps back up into the truck and he gets shot in the back? What happened there? And then I've watched these other videos that are coming out with the police shooting a black man. Sometimes it's just outright intentional racism. Other times it's like, wait a minute, that just doesn't have an easy explanation. What did go on there? We want to know. I don't think by posting these videos, anyone is trying to say all police officers are bad or that all police officers are always good. I think that we want to understand what's going on. Here's a perspective that I have. This occurred to me about a year ago. We have two radically different cultures in America. And after I lived in Asia seven years and talked to police officers in Asia, I went back to America and I kind of had to relearn some things and it gave me this fresh perspective. The police in America seem to have a culture of lots of communication and slow moving. Well, what I've seen from my friends in black America and what I saw when I was in Cabrini Green in Chicago was that black families raise their children to not argue and to be respectful and to obey. And that's good. I would say that black America has developed a culture that's good and it's what I would call a quick compliance culture. And this is a culture where the child knows when he's told what to do, especially if mom or dad raises their voices, he's got to obey right away not give any sass, not give any lip, not ask why. They say jump, he's got to jump or he's going to get it. Police have a very different culture in America. They want lots of communication and moving slowly. Now, when police encounter someone else in a kind of hostile police situation, you know, they're pulling someone over, they're stopping someone, they're inspecting people, they have a checkpoint. The police are kind of a little bit nervous. They want to make sure everyone goes home and so their alerts are high and there's a little bit of autopilot going on there. And when you get stopped by police, there's a little bit of concern to hope everything goes well and that everyone can go home. And so you've got a good honest black man in the car and he wants everyone to go home. But his adrenaline is a little high and there is a little bit of autopilot going on there also. So the police officer says, uh, show me your license and registration or show me something or do this and the black man will communicate and the police officer will listen and at some point somewhere the officer will tell the black man to do something and the black man will obey very quickly just like he had to do from his childhood and this will scare the police officer and he could accidentally pull the trigger. I'm not making excuses for anyone. I'm just saying this difference in these cultures that maybe it's very difficult to recognize the difference could be a factor. I'm just saying talk about it. The quick compliance culture of the wonderful, awesome black America culture could accidentally, unintentionally trick or 
play games on the police culture in America of communicating a lot and moving slowly. And both of them are trying to demonstrate that they want to do good things. But this misunderstanding could be what's causing some of the violence. Maybe a lot of it. I don't know. So I just think the solution is to communicate about it. Let's talk about it. Let's have police officers say, well, how would it play out? We need to keep talking about it. But there is a black culture in America of quick compliance. If we as police say, show me this, do that, get back in the vehicle, please step out of the vehicle. Black people might jump in order to show that they're trying to comply and it could scare us police officers. Maybe police could say this. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe black people could talk with each other, educate their children, talk about it in school and say, now police, they're, they're different. They don't care if you obey quickly. They want you to obey with lots of talking, lots of questions, and very, very slowly. It's very different from the teacher at school. If a police officer tells you to stop, don't stop. Ask him if it's okay to stop and then stop very, very slowly. If a police officer asks you to give him your wallet, tell him which pocket your wallet's in and tell him, I have a gun officer I'm licensed to carry. And if I reach for my wallet, it looks like I'm reaching for my gun. Do you want me to reach for my wallet? Communicate this way. Maybe, maybe we should just talk about it. This is just my idea. And I hope that we all come up with a whole lot better ideas because we need a lot of better ideas right now.